All right, so in this lecture, we're going to go ahead and install Server 2012. So we're going to power up VirtualBox here. Okay, the first thing we need to do is we need to mount the ISO that we had downloaded for Server 2012. So right click, hit Settings, and go down to Storage. Now we're going to click over here for the new storage controller, and we're going to choose Add IDE Controller. Now we're going to click this little disk icon right here. It says adds, uh, it adds an optical drive, basically a CD drive, virtual CD drive. So we're going to click choose disk. And I've already navigated to my D drive and my downloads. And here's the WinBlue refresh file that we had downloaded earlier. So I'm going to select open. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right. So now we're ready to start the virtual machine. So I'm going to click start. Waiting on that to power up. Okay, so it's over here. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right, hold down right control and press F. Okay, it's going to ask me, do you want to switch to full screen? I'm going to say yes. All right, so now we're in full screen mode. I'm going to click out of these little prompts right here. Okay, we're going to select next, install now. Okay, let's extend this out a little bit so we can see exactly what we're picking. We're going to do data center evaluation uh, with a GUI. So you want server with a GUI, not server core. Okay, and we'll click next. Accept the uh, license terms. We're going to select custom, and we're going to select drive zero. All right, we're going to let this run. All right, so the installation is done. So at this point, we're going to create a password for our administrator account. Uh, this is going to be the most important password you're going to create. It's basically when you can't get in through your domain account, you're going to use uh, administrator and then put in, you know, this password that we're going to create here. So I'm going to go ahead and make mine. Just type it twice. Okay, we'll click finish. All right, so now we can do right control delete. And we can type in the password we just created. All right, we're going to say yes here when we're prompted about the network. All right, so server manager is coming up, and we got server 2012 installed. So now what we're, we're going to do is set a static IP, since we're creating this as a domain controller. So to do that, we're just going to click over here. We're going to click the Windows button. And we're going to type in network. Do that again. There we go. Okay, then click network and sharing center. All right, so we're going to click this ethernet connection. And we're going to leave that right there. We're going to hit the windows button again, and we're going to do type in CMD. Now we're going to type in IP config c o n f i g all right now what we're looking for is this ethernet adapter ethernet okay so right here this information we're going to use to configure our static ip so we're going to drag that over here to the side we're going to click properties on this ethernet status let's uncheck ip uh, version 6 and select ip version 4 and click properties all right so we're going to go ahead and do use the following ip address and we're going to type in 10 Oh, take off and unlock. 10.0.2.15. I'm entering this information right here. Okay? It's the IPv4 address. Now, but the next line we're going to do is a subnet mask. It's 255. 255.0. Okay? Now, then we're going to enter this default gateway right here. Where it says default gateway. 10.0.2.2. And then we're just going to do 127.0.0.1. So basically we're saying that the local DNS server is going to be this host. So we're going to set up DNS on this host. Uh, and then so the default gateway is this virtual network adapter that we've created. Or that was created for us rather. Uh, and then the local IP address of this server is .15. Okay, so we're going to select OK. Hit close. Close again. Exit out of this. So we're going to clear the screen by typing CLS. And we're going to type in IP config again. And we can see we still have the same networking settings. 
So let's go ahead and try and ping the default gateway. Uh, sorry, force a habit there. <laughs> 192 address. Dot two, dot two. Press enter. Okay, we can see we're getting a reply from the gateway. So that's a good sign. All right, so we're going to go ahead and type in exit. We'll close that screen. And now we're ready for the next lecture. We'll be adding in the domain services role. So I'll see you in the next lecture.